What's up everyone, it's Jum here, and today we are going to continue our Loom Legs episode series. So in the last episode, we basically came to Mr. Ferris' mansion after coming from Lodison Beach, and we came to his mansion to have a dinner, and then we talked about some things about the missing stone tablet and everything that's going on, and we're trying to find a stone tablet that's located in Atlantic City. However, before we start today's episode, if this is your first time watching my channel and you end up liking my video, make sure you like, subscribe, or just click the bell and set all notifications to never miss out on the upload from me. And also, if you want to be more a part of this channel, make sure to join my Discord server to be a part of my community. All right, let's go straight into this. We have a lot of story to cover. Last episode, we stopped right here. So I believe if we come from here, if we go out here, we might just go straight into the next, next cutscene. Let's see what happens. I think we have to come either talk to someone over here. Let's talk to Lucas over here. I don't know what he's going to say. Do you think... Anyone would notice if I snuck off to the kitchen for a snack? Yes, I think um, the butler would have noticed if he did that. Let's talk to her over here. The cries sound like they may be coming from Daddy's office. I'm not allowed to go in there without him, though. So what? I, what else do we need to search? Okay, we need to search the house. Okay. So the source of mysterious sounds. Okay. It's not coming from in in there. Okay. I remember this now. We have to come in. People are going to come out of the rooms. Okay. It doesn't seem they're coming from this room. And then I think if we go over here, I don't think I don't think it's gonna be. I don't know where maybe we'll, uh, I don't think. Yeah, I think we need. I think we need to go to this room. I think we might have to go in there. No, that's exiting. So I think it's this room we have to go into. I think that's where it's gonna be. Yes, we have to go in here. That room is Daddy's office. It's not like the cries may be coming from inside, but I'm not allowed to go in there without Daddy. I have to see if Tordy's all right. Maybe if you guys go inside the office with me, it'll be okay. All right, if you say so. I always forget I need to change my voice. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try to go back, go into the like the row of what's going on. So let's see. Oh, this is Daddy's office. Wow, there's a lot of books in here. Most of them are just business files from Daddy's work. The reason I'm not allowed in here myself is because Daddy thinks I might mess up his files. But playing with files sounds boring, so I don't know why he gets worried about that. He might have other reasons, perhaps. Well, it doesn't matter. We're here now, and I don't see any sign of where that noise is coming from. But that sounds like it was coming from this room. You all heard it, right? Where else could it have come from? Wow. There it is again. You see what I mean? It's louder in here than the hallway. Yeah, but it doesn't look like anything is in here. It just sounds like a muffle too. Could it be coming from a room next to this one? The only other room on... This is the only other room on this wing. I just office my bedroom and the guest room. That's it. It's pretty loud now. It's got to be coming from somewhere in this room. Maybe we should split up and search the room then? It must be nearby. That's a good idea. Okay, don't touch daddy's files. I don't want him to be mad at you and never invite you over again. No problem, Amelia. I'll keep my hands to myself. That's literally impossible for you to do, Lucas. All right, so if I remember correctly, I think there's a glitch that if you, like, if you go find something, like, there's a glitch that happens, and you have to be careful. So I'm going to try my best. I think I remember. I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can remember what happened. I'm pretty sure we have to go up here or something. No, we can't go up here. We have to, like, I guess, like, we have to activate, I believe. I think it's, I think it might be something on here. So we have things that you guys can look at. It has prisons and all this that you guys can look at. Some notes about ruin history. They were either... Hastily, hastily written, or the author has poor penmanship. That means they have bad handwriting, which is not good. Pursuit of the Greatest Good by Banhor Vanta, PhD. And Vanta is a bad person. So I, I'm pretty sure that might be Van, um, Vanna's name, if I'm correct. Or that might be Vanna's um, father, which would make more sense, which could tie into more history. Which I never looked at this when I first came here, when I first played up this update. I never went into and looked at all this stuff. So this is some cool things for me to look at as well. I think that's it. I know what I have to do. I just want to see if there's anything else that we can look at in the meantime and stuff. It sounds like the cries are coming through the wall in the back of the office, but Milia says there's not another room beyond this one. One year around this house is at night is kind of creepy, especially with all those eerie cries we keep hearing. Good thing Jake is around. He's so brave in situations like this. I know we're not supposed to touch these documents, but I was curious about what's in them. One of the documents was how to pollute corporate transactions. You don't think that... No, never mind. I ju I'm just overthinking. I'll keep looking around. I think so. I'm pretty sure he might be involved in them, but we have to look more into it. The statue, the statue just looks like a real salty. 
Do you think that the wand is made of real gold? Yes, so we have to find one of these, but I think if we press the button, that will activate it. There's a button, there's a note next to it that says do not press it. Press the button, yes. When you're not supposed to press the red button, you always press the red button. Nothing happened. Do you think something would happen? You thought that maybe this would somehow help you in your search for 20? You thought that given the circumstances, it might be okay just to press it this one time. Now that you've pressed the button, you feel a bit ashamed. There is no use denying it. You shouldn't have pressed the button. It was clearly marked. So how do you proceed from here? Are you going to carry the shame with you or are you going to try to hide what you've done? Of course not. You're Jomi. There's no shame in that. You admit your mistakes and learn from them. You choose who you are. Now get out there and show the world what it means to be Jomi. This is they're doing too much actually. And then this is what happens. This this scene right here where it does that, that is so cool. The animation just behind that is so cool. And I just I thought that was really cool when, when that happened. They change the okay, they don't change anything. I I think they know that this happens, but they don't think too much about it. They only think to um like about it when you get the wand, which is right there. I'm pretty sure that yeah, I'm pretty sure there's something on the other side, but let's get the wand, because that's what we need for that. So yes. We need the wand for Sachi so that we can open the, the place back there. I'm not sure there's anything up here too. I think there's nothing on this side. Oh, there is nothing on this side. I just hope there's not going to be a glitch because usually there's a glitch that happens, but I don't think there will be. And there's Starlight. I feel like Starlight was there. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Oh, do I have to? I think I have to open it in here. Let's see. Is it in key items? No, it has to be somewhere. I don't know where it would be. I think I'm pretty sure if you just if you just bring it up to it, it might work. But I'm not sure. It should be in here somewhere. I'm not sure if it's a glitch. I think they, I think they, maybe they fixed the glitch. I'm not sure. Is it this side? Yeah, this one doesn't have one. Yes, there it is. Okay. I, I didn't have to look for it. All I did is click it. I thought so. Yeah, but now they all notice because they can hear it opening. But before, they didn't notice the stairs that came out of the floor. I, I just found that interesting, but that's fine. Whoa, there's a secret room behind the fireplace. It's just like the movies. Yulia, did you know about this? No, Daddy never told me he had a secret room. How strange. Wait, what's that in the back? And there's Tordy. It's Tordy, I knew it! And she runs, but it's all a mistake. Milia, wait up! Tordy, I knew it was you! Are you hurt, Tordy? Daddy said you were at the doctor. Why did Daddy lock you up inside this machine? Hold up, Milia, something doesn't seem right. Tordy, what's wrong? Why are you acting so angry? This isn't right. Tordy is acting like he doesn't recognize me. What happened to you, Tordy? Did Daddy do this to you? Hey, look over there. What's that? What's that? A big rock? That's got to be a piece of the cursed stone tablet we've been searching for. It looks just like the one from Pollute Court. Wait. Do you think... That Tordy was corrupted by the stone? That would explain why Tordy is acting so strangely. So is Mr. Ferris also using the corrupted tablet to experiment on Lumians? When we were in his office, I found some documents labeled Transaction with Pollute Corp. It seems like they may be working together. It may be too early to say, but I sure, I sure, oh, but it sure does, not I sure, but it sure does look that way. I was see. I was in a good row. I was in a good row. Pronounced everything fine, and then I messed up. But that's fine because no one's perfect. Regardless, Tordy is dangerous if he's being corrupted. Milia, you should. I'm sorry you've been stuck there, Tordy. I'll have you out in no time. Wait, but wait, Milia, don't. I had to change my voice there. Bam. Ah, Milia, get away from Tordy. It's really angry. Jomi, please stop it before it attacks Millie again. This is an easy battle. Before, the battle used to always stop. It used to always have a bug and you have to restart it. But I think we'll be fine. All right, so Makuro is a water type. So actually, I don't have the best team for this. I think Gastro might be fine. Let's see, I think it's a water, I think it's a water type, right? I believe, yeah, Makuro is a water type. I, believe, I think it's also a toxic type. Might be, I'm not completely sure. On that but i'm pretty sure it's a water type so we should be fine with this using that which one is stronger i think okay yeah this nature's force is stronger so let's use that i think we'll be fine because all our lumens are way um over leveled for this so i think 
I think we're gonna be good for this battle. Yeah. Oh, that was a one shot. Okay, never mind. See, that was a one shot that we didn't have to worry about, which is really cool. I also like how they have all that. That makes it go through so faster and everything. That's cool. Torgy, Torgy, please wake up. Is Torgy going to be okay? Malia, it might not be safe to be close to Torgy right now. I don't care. Torgy is my best friend. I can't leave him alone when he's hurt. I just want to know why he attacked me. He acted like he didn't recognize me. I believe Torgy was affected by the corrupted stone in the display case. Whenever people or Lumians come in direct contact with these stones like these, they lose control of themselves and become really angry. They will even attack those that they love as we just witnessed. We know this because Jomi has been journeying oh Jomi has been journeying journeying through Rovia to collect these craft of stone pieces. That was a tongue crystal right there. And had and has had similar um, encounters. So Tordi attacked me because he's not in control? That makes me feel a little better. And then Tordi's fine. Look how it is changing. That animation was really cool too. That dark energy around Tordi seems to have dissipated. Did Jomi successfully calm it down? It seems like Beston a corrupted it's, it seems like Beston a corrupted being in battle who wear them out enough to make this effect wear off. So does that mean Tordi isn't angry anymore? Tordi! You're awake now! I was so worried about you! Please don't scare me with that, Tordi. Yeah, Tordi is knocked out. He tired, he done. Yep, aiding him, okay. Lucy, so I guess Lucy is gonna be like one of like the medic or like like a, a Pokemon caretaker because she's always the one doing that. Like all the time when I realize when we're we're traveling, she's always the one healing our Lumians for the most part. I think Mabel and Lucas. Lucas is too silly to that. Mabel is like she does she's too outgoing and everything, but Lucy's like in the middle, so she's always doing she always takes care of both of them, which is really cool. I think that's cool. That should do it. Tori should be back to full health with the medicine I gave him. Thank you, Lucy. Tordy is back to his normal self now. And thank you, Jomi, for stopping Tordy when he was affected with the mean stuff. We're lucky that we had a, ca a capable, ooh, I was about to say cap capable, a capable, a capable, capable, capable trainer, see? Different ways to pronounce words. It depends on what, you, what you're saying all the time. So a capable trainer like Jomi with us. I will need to change that name because it's too long. But each time when I do, he always hashtags it on, on Lumion Legacy. So I'll try to see if I can change it again, but it's always too long and it takes up all the dialogue and makes the dialogue longer than it needs to be. Not to mention, Jomi had a lot of experience dealing with corrupted Lumions already. There really wasn't a better person to be here to help. I'm so happy that Tordi is okay now. Also, I want to say, side note, if y'all hear stuff in the background, first of all, we have a lot of cicadas, all right? We have cicadas just everywhere outside. So you might hear some chirping in the background, all that. That's them. Two, if you hear like my mic moving, that might be using my chin to hit the mic. So just be like aware. I'm trying I'm trying to figure out how to place this mic because of the clip on mic. You have to figure out where to place it on my shirt. That way I'm not like hitting it when I'm recording. But I'll do more with that. I'm I'm so happy that Tordy is okay now. But why was Daddy keeping Tordy in a secret room by himself while he was sick? What's this? Yep, there we go. Here he comes. Where are all you doing in my private collection room? And what's with all the ruckus? You woke up the whole house, all the noise, with all the noise you were making. We're sorry, sir. We were in our rooms when we started hearing strange noises. And well... Daddy, why did you have Tordy locked up in here? You said he was sick and that you took him to a doctor. Tordy was really angry. He acted like he didn't remember me and tried to hurt me. My friends had to save me again. Why, Daddy? Why did you hide Tordy? I'm sorry for keeping all of this a secret from you, Malia. I hid the truth from you so that you wouldn't be upset. I can't hide the things from you now, though. Allow me to explain everything that happened. And here we go. We have another big dialogue session that's going to take a long time for us to get there, but I'm trying to get through as quick as I can. Last week, I took Tordy with me on my routine submarine drive. D oh, dive, not drive. Submarine dive. I frequently take a dive in my private submarine and search the sea floor for treasures and artifacts of the legendary lost city. I let let Tordy accompany me so he could get out and stretch his flippers. He also he he also rather keen he's also rather keen at spotting things that I would typically miss. On this particular trip, Tordy and I were on our way back home. 
empty-handed after a long, un uneventful dive. We were getting close to the city when something seemed to catch Trudy's eye. We took a closer look and, it, to my surprise, Trudy had discovered an odd chunk of stone with a peculiar aura. I could sense that something was not right from the moment I set my eyes on the stone. There was something eerie about it, but curiosity outweighed our sense of caution. Before I could act, Tony had already touched the stone. Then he turned corrupted, didn't he? Tony stopped moving as if he had passed out. I panicked and brought him on board with me. I was aiming to wake him back up by myself. Did something happen to him when he touched the stone? I thought. I knew I must immediately rush to find Tony a doctor. In case the stone could be important to the antidote, I retrieved the using the mechanical, mechanical arm of my submarine. I brought Tony home and the stone and returned home. When we got home, I, I rushed Tordy to Atlantean's best Lumian medical doctor. While in emergency recovery, Tordy woke, awoke and began to attack the doctor. Thankfully, one of the doctors was able to sedate Tordy. There was something I realized. There was something. There, that was something. Not there was. That was something. That was when. Oh my God. That was when I realized something was very wrong with him. The doctor said that I would have. I would have to send Tordy somewhere to be examined. I didn't want to do that to Tordy, so I had Baxter prepare this holding tank to holding tank to quarantine Tordy until I found until I could find a cure. I spent days looking for an answer and nothing worked. I realized that the eerie stone we found must have done this. I had it carefully locked up in here until I could figure out what to do with it. Anyways, I've had Tordy in here a few days. He appears to be completely fine now. Could it be that all he needed was a little time for his body to fight the infection? No, Daddy. Show me how to fight Tordy until he was exhausted. Oh my, that is fascinating though. All it took all it took to wear him down was a good battle? Hmm. Do you know what's interesting? If you recall the Semarine which attacked Melia on the beach, ordinary Semarines stay out of the sea and leave people around. But that particular Semarine was acting violently, that is, until you defeated it in battle. Is it possible that Semarine, which attacked Melia, also, also had also come in contact with the stone like the one you found? I see. That reminds me. After that terrible experience on the beat, I was so upset that I reached out to the company that manufactures Semarines. Having done business with Paluk Corp in the past, I've, I have contact with some of the higher up. That very same day, I received a phone call from none other than, than their president himself, Dr. Vanna. Dr. Vanna? Ah, you know him. Yes, Dr. Vanna. Brilliant man, brilliant man, quite a gentleman, always going out of his way to make things right. After he apologized for the tragic malfunction, we talked for quite some time. Eventually, I told him about Tordy's unique situation. He offered to have his greatest scientist examine Tordy and Mysterious Stone. They should be here sometime tonight to pick them up. Tonight? Yes, tonight. Is there a problem? Ding. Speaking of the dust kit, that must be them now. Lastly, would you mind greeting our guests and letting them know I'll be th with them shortly? Right, away, sir. Now then, if you all follow me, I'll guide you back to your rooms before I go take care of business with my desk. Actually, sir, if you spare me a moment, oh, what is it? Well, sir, we want to talk to you about that chunk of stone. My friends and I want to. Uh, my friends and I know what it is and where it came from. You do. How is that? It's kind of a long story, but I'll try to shorten it since we're, we're sure on time. Mm -hmm. Recounts the incident. Um, Jake recounts the incident involving the PC of the curse tablet. He explains that you and your friend are on a journey to secure, to, ooh, to secure, to secure the remaining pieces before they can cause further harm to others. Jake also reveals that Blue Court's plan to use the curse tablet to weaponize Lumians. Ta-da. Do you think that the eerie stone could be the sealed remains of Okawari's power? It's not like you've certainly been studying at the Atlantic Museum. I must say, even though I'm partially responsible responsible ooh, responsible for discovering several of the artifacts on display at the Atlantic Museum, even I know that the legends told by the murals are likely more than a legend. I mean the very creation of the word and the destruction of the first era lost city. If you think about it, it makes sense. Besides that, you can say that Pollute Corp, who I'm invited to my house, wants to use the stone to create an army of superpower Lumia and sell them for profit. I saw them, I saw them, I saw it for myself, sir. As crazy as your story sounds, we're telling the truth. 
I believe you about Blue Court. You do? I thought there was something a little goppy about. They thought they were funny, actually. Good job, Brad. That was. He thought he, he got it in there. About Dr. Vanna's interest in Tordy. He insisted. Ooh. He insisted practically. I about to say practically. But practically. I always see words different. I don't know why. Demanded to have his associates sent to Tordy to make up. For the summary attack at the time it didn't occur to me that he might have an ulterior motive but now it makes sense not why oh well i was about to say now but well i ought to go now and come up with a reason to send my guest away but actually there they are oh quite sorry quite sorry sir but they insisted on seeing you immediately it's all right baxley i'll take care of this mr phrase won't take much 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 of your time i'm about to say much more each time when I read this thing, I always read it additionally. Like, I expect it to, to be written a specific way, just like when you're watching a show and you're like, oh, they're going to say this right after. That's how I read stuff. So sometimes when I'm reading all this, I expect it to end this way, but it doesn't. And sometimes that's what makes me, like, say different words. But we're here on the behalf of Pollute Corp to correct a certain stone and illumine as part of your deal you made with our boss. You are no longer in need of your assistant. Lumia, I spoke the Lumian, I spoke to Dr. Vanna, Regarding is no longer ill, so I'm no longer in need of your help. Oh, I'm so happy to hear. Well, then we'll go ahead and take that stone off your hand. I I appreciate your help, but that won't be necessary. I'm sorry you came all all the way out here for nothing, but I'm going to ask that you please leave now. Wait a minute, I know you. I ran in. I ran into you near the Atlantean Battle Theater. Yeah, the one boss asked me to keep an eye on. I figured the Battle Theater would be a decent distraction. But here you are in the middle of my business. How troublesome. You've been spying on us? I have a feeling that we were being followed ever since we left Sephiroth City. What do you want from us? The boss just wants to keep an eye, a click, keep an eye on you. So I was about to say close eye, but he just said an eye. So that's where the thing, the mess of sentence come from. But anyway, make sure you aren't causing any tr more trouble from, for him is all. That doesn't, that doesn't matter right now, though. We're not here for you. We're just here for the stone. Mr. Ferris, you can't let them have it. They're going to use it to hurt others. Oh, I see what's going on here. You're here to claim the stone for yourselves, aren't you? Are you? That is enough. I will not ask again. You will leave now or I will contact the authorities and have you removed by force. Mr. Ferris, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We only wanted to take that troublesome stone off your hand and keep it somewhere safe. We can do it the easy way or we can do it the hard way. You say, you say you don't want anyone to get hurt? Let's do this the easy way and nobody will get hurt. Are you threatening to resort to violence? That is entirely up to you. What would it be? Daddy, what's happening? I'm scared. Everything will be okay, Malia. That's right. We're not going to let anyone get hurt. Right, Jomi? Do you, do you kids honestly believe that you stand a chance against this highly trained pollute corp? Personnel? Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. Two of you up front now. Make this quick. The boss is counting on you. Yes, sir. Ooh, another battle. So this is going to be a long episode. Like, if it's already 23 minutes in. So we still got a lot because it doesn't stop. It, the story keeps on going, which is cool because the people, the, um, the community was complaining about, oh, there's not enough, you know, um, play time and stuff on the stuff where on the game and that we're playing and stuff like that. So they complained about not having enough of that, which is which I understand where they're coming from, saying that there, there's not enough um, playtime on the story and stuff like that. I get that, but for people who are making videos like me, who still make videos on the game, for me to get through a whole part where I can just stop, like at the end of that scene and stuff like that, it becomes harder because I'm in this situation where I have to finish the whole thing through. So, but it's all right. I use Fire Breath. I still like how they did change the battle system. That way you don't have to wait for like every individual Lumion that's leveled up. Like it gets so annoying. It just makes me, it's more simplistic and it looks more like, more like advanced, like in the way it is. Like it looks like a more advanced battle system than just having the normal, like, you know, prompt and where they're trying to show you everything. I think that's really cool of them to do that. Um, I don't know which one to use. Let's see, okay, the base, okay. I think the base one on this one is more better. So I think let's use that on Amp Amp Ampithon. I think that's how I say its name. I'm not completely sure. I could use that on Dibor too, but I want to get rid of this one. That's mine. 
in front of me. So let's get into that. That's gonna. I don't think that does anything to us. So we're fine. Yeah, I think that'd be fine. All right, let's use Blaze Charm. Let's let's use Fire Breath. Let's see which one. How much? Okay, we need more energy. Let's use Blaze Trump on Dibor. I think that might work. Eraser is not gonna do that much. Why did they use it on Dibor? Hello. Why would you do that on that? That's that's weird. Was that Snug Goop? I think that was Snug Goop. I thought that was Empty from doing that. How about so? Why would you use it on its own like teammate? All right, Thunder Strike. I think is it gonna hit it against me? I think we're still fine. Yeah, this is easy. Let's use Blaze Trump. I think that should be able to take care of Amphitum, and then we'll be good. Death Stream. Oh yeah. Okay. Never mind. Snug Goop got it. We're good. I think that's all. I think there's gonna be like another battle after this. But I don't think we fight it. I think you guys will see it. I'll let you guys see it. All right, we got some money. Moolah, you lousy good for nothing. That's enough, you two. We're sorry, boss. All right, you two, you're up. Don't worry, boss. We won't disappoint you. Right. Because you're acting like I can't, I can't get you in battle. We, we got you. We got you. And they all have, they all have metal type um, lumens. So it's really easy because I have erupted on. And I, that's why I put erupted on the first part. So I already know they're going to have. Okay, type. I think I can't like exactly remember from the last time I played it, but also my lumens are all the way up there in level. And two, you can see where we have erupted them, so that works for both of the things. Also, why uh, why did they not replenish our health? Because they replenished Snuggle's health, but they didn't replenish Eruptum's health. I wish they would have replenished the health. That way, I don't have to like find the. So that's why um, Eruptum won't just die out of nowhere. We have to be careful. Right, I think it's gonna be another metal type. Okay, shot team. That's a, that's a mind type. I don't know what we can do against that. But I'm using fire breath against Montreal, and that should kick out Montreal. I think maybe Snow Goop will be fine. It didn't. That's wait. Is it not? Oh, that was Snow Goop. Okay, I, I thought for a second I attacked and it didn't work. I was like, okay, that's weird. All right. So there's gone. There's erupted. Um, upset again. Another die board. Is that another one? The the other one had die board. Okay. Um, let's use Fire Breath again on Dyborg, and that should knock it out in one, so maybe we'll see. I don't know why Snow Group is attacking with Jet Stream. Also, I forgot that Snow Group is also a Toxin, I think it's a Toxin and Water type. I also forgot about that. They also has two of those types. That's cool. Foul Chan, avoid the attack. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's use. Okay, let's use Fire Breath. I think that's what might be our strongest move. That might just knock out Shocky. I think we'll be fine. Jet stream and then okay, if you use fire break, that's it. I think we're done with that. Yeah, these battles are not really that hard. They're not really that hard. They're really easy actually. This is gonna be a 30 minute video. I already know. See, it's 30 minutes of content with me trying to go strictly through everything. Just crazy. I find that interesting. That's all right. We've got a little bit of mastery in there. That's cool. Enough. You kids are not making. You got. You kids are making my blood boil. It's over for you. Your sport has been defeated. Oh, it's far from over. In fact, it's just the beginning. Thanks to the information you foolishly traded to my boss, you'll be arriving in the Lost City soon to uncover its secret agent. Oh, sec not secret agents, secret agent secrets, not secret agents, agent secrets. All I have to do is remove you from the picture right here and now. You would not lay a finger on anyone. Sir, please allow me to handle things from here. I believe they are pressing matters elsewhere. Indeed, Bastley. I need to, I need to stop Doctor Doctor Vanna before this gets out of hand. I trust you will be able to take care of, of things here, Bastling. You need you need it you need not need not you need it. Worried about me, sir. I am more than capable of hand of handling myself in a skirmish. I appreciate it, Bastling. I can always count on you. All right, follow me. I'm going to need your help with this. We're right behind you, Mister Ferrix. Lead the way. Essen, let's hurry. Wait, stop. We're not done here. This is the coolest part of this whole thing. This right here is the coolest part, y'all gonna see. Who said we were done? Don't think I would have wished is that if they would make this cutscene have more exciting music because it fits to the occasion. Because the music in the background is like soft music and it would like fit to more occasion to have like more challenging music like all the other tracks that we have in the game. That's fine. Who says we were done? Huh? What did you say to me? I do not appreciate your making your making threats. See, that's here's the here's the here's mistake here. I do not appreciate you making threats, not your making threats against my family and my friends. Allow me to teach you a lesson in manners. See, I don't know what Lumia he brought out here, 
but something happened and they were all scared. I don't know what Lumia he brought out there. And you hear that call. I don't know what Lumia he brought out there, but it's going to be so cool to figure out later in the future what Lumia he brought out there. Right this way, please. We haven't we haven't much time to spare. Where are we going, Mr. Ferrix? Don't worry, I'll explain in a moment. Try and keep up now. Are we still going? We still going, aren't we? Yeah, this is where we end the, the, the dialogue here. We are still going for a little while. Here we are, my private submarine dog. We might still have enough time to stop him. Stop who, Daddy? Mr. Ferris, does this have anything to do with Dr. Venet and the Lost City? That is precisely it, my boy. You may recall that I had asked Dr. Venet for his help while I was seeking a cure for Tordy. As a part of, as a part of our deal for Pollute Corp, to return Tordy to help, then I asked him to share what I knew about the Lost City with him. I was running out of options to help Tordy, so I agreed, so I agreed to his term. What did you tell him? Everything. Including the location of the Lost City itself. That was a mistake, but he didn't know that. Oh, or what's left of it anyways. You know where the Lost City is? Indeed I do. I alone knew of its location until recently until recently when I shared that information with Dr. Vena. It's hard to find since it's very deep within the trenches on the ocean floor. I, I happened upon it, oh, I happened upon it one day. I think something's not right there, but I happened to stumble upon it or I stumbled upon it, not happened. I stumbled upon it. See, so also I might read it wrong, but sometimes the, the sentence is also wrong too. The dialogue or something, they put in the wrong word, which is all right. I stumbled upon it one day, one day during one of my explorations when I detected weird sounds coming from within one of the trenches. After my first tour through the trench, I knew what I had found was special. I knew I had to keep its location a secret in order to preserve it. Fast forward a few years, Dr. Vanna here to tell what is so hard and become set with finding it. He suspected that I knew of its location since I was responsible for discovering most of the, rel the relics. Oh, on display at Atlantic Museum. Now, now that he knows the location of the lost city, well, it's like Lackey's, like he's like he said. At this very moment, he's on his way to the search the lost city for the soul heart. The soul heart, the source of all life on the planet, is buried in an ancient city at the bottom of the ocean. Vanna seems to think it is. Daddy, what would happen if they find the soul heart? I don't know, dear. The legends say that the soul heart is tied to all life on the planet. If Vanna doesn't respect the power of the soul heart, then I'm afraid it could spell disaster. That is why I need all of your help. Would you assist me in traveling deep within the treasures of the ocean to find Dr. Vanna? I hope that he'll be reasonable and leave at my request. But in the event that, if that things get heated, I would like to have you talented Lumion trainers with me. We'll totally help you with this. Yeah, we can't We can't let Dr. Vanna get away with more of his schemes. Just tell me what to do, sir. We'll do our best. Excellent. If we're going to be confronting Dr. Vanna, we're, we're going to want to be prepared. As I come in the back of the room, the trainers may find useful. Go ahead and make your final preparations. Once you're ready to travel to Los Angeles, let me know. All right, so guys, we are actually going to end the video here. There's a lot going in the video. We're actually going to heal up our limits real quick and do that. But there is a lot. There's a lot going on in this video. There's a lot of dialogue. Like, I tried. Even, like, I had some a little bit, like, side comments. But even with that, those were, like, minimal, like, 30 seconds or, like, even less than that that I had those. And yet, we still had to go through the dialogue. So there's a lot of dialogue in this one part. Even after this, there's going to be a lot of dialogue. After, so, so just be prepared for, like, some longer episodes because I guess the developers wanted the the people because Gavini was talking about we need longer content. So I'm guessing the developers wanted long content and more content for people in the game or the community to, to see like, oh yeah, there's more content that we can actually watch and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure that's why that whole part was like stuck together and there wasn't like a break where you could just like stop playing and save and stuff like that. You just had to keep on going dialogue. So just expect the next couple of episodes until like the last episode of the playable content just expect all the episodes to be like longer than usual and stuff like that but anyway guys if you did enjoy this video and you watched all to this point make sure to like and subscribe and click the bell and set all notifications for my channel that way anytime when i post a video or anything on my channel or live stream or anything you have notifications too and also if you want to be more a part of this channel and my community make sure to join my discord server there's links in the description there's links everywhere there's links in the description there's link on my channel, my channel info description, so you guys can look at all that. There's always links in the description for y'all to click and follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, all my social media that I have for my channel info for that. But anyway, guys, this has been a long episode. It's been a long episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
And with that thought, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.